All right, what's going on? Welcome to a, another Vintage Cube draft on Magic Online. We're going to do these as long as we can because Vintage Cube is awesome. Uh, Rivals of Ixalan will be coming out next week. It'll probably be up by the time this is... Probably out by the time this goes up, but uh, I'll still be posting these to YouTube uh, just because they're fun to watch. But uh, we're doing a land stipulation where we're always going to take a land first. Uh, hopefully that leaves us with enough playables. But... Um, yeah, land first. Is it Meyer or Breeding Pool? That is tough. It's like the Meyer's probably better. The Meyer searches, the Breeding Pool is a thing to search. Yeah, it's awkward. And I like the blue better. I like blue and green better. Blue is best color. So there's that. But if we get real dual lands, we can just get them. I think the pool is a little bit better. Do you? Yeah, just slightly. Someone said Meyer easily. What if we get a sensei's divining top? Is it divining or divining top? What do you think? I think it's divining. Oh, there are 10 fetches and 20 fetchables. That's actually a good point. I didn't know that. That math checks out, I guess. That being the case. Oh, look, we get another fetchable. It's not a fetchable, it's a fetch. That's what I meant. I like that we're, we're passing two, two, I don't two know man if lands. Pass creeping tar pit. That's really good. I agree with you, actually. Uh, yeah, we're going to take creeping tar pit. Hopefully the Strand comes back. I doubt it. Never. Hissing Quagmire it is. Yep. We haven't passed anything super great yet. Yeah, I'm not like regretting any of these picks. I like Coalition Relic a lot. I'd probably take that if I wasn't taking the Hissing Quagmire. Tropical Island is exactly what I think we want. It's pretty good. I do like a Wooded Foothills, but I, Tropical Island's like the best thing to search up ever, especially when we have a Tar Pit and a Hissing Quagmire already. Salt Tide is... Oh, we don't get to pick a land now. How nice. I actually kind of like Virtuous Gear Hulk here. Really? I was thinking that sword. Sword is colorless. The thing is, like, everyone... I think people people like to poop on Virtuous Gear Hulk, but then, like, it always crushes. Like, giving your Vendillion click plus four, plus four, and making it a seven... Fire or flyer seven five flyer is just kind of insane. Like there's just so many cards you can give plus four plus four to and just kill with. Yeah. Sword is good. I'll take the sword. It's colorless, whatever. I think sword is strong enough, but I think Virtuous Gearhook is underrated. Red table. It actually might, because of the aforementioned underratedness of it. It's also green. You're also green. Yeah, easy being green. Make a seven Fiori Ori I fly. <laughs> oh, Chris, keep me honest. I appreciate it. Ooh, I like a Sakura Tribe Elder. What do you think? I'm thinking. Okay. Gosh. With great mana, you can do whatever you want. That's actually true. Um, you can take some of the best cards in the last few packs and not even worry about it. It's probably Elder. It's definitely Elder, Elder right? Piece we're gonna play good. we're playing the five color mana deck. Oh my god, gutters. It's not going to be gutter snipe in this deck, you maniac. Did you see did you see this this comment that that he made? You didn't see that? Inspiring vantage, I guess. Coward passing crater hoof and lotus cobra. Yeah. All right. Inspiring Vantages. I also don't like passing Sword of Fire and Ice, but... By you it is. Actually, that's fantastic. Or we take Fort. I think... <laughs> Are you serious? I'm just saying it's an option. Oh, yeah, it is an option, but I think it's always by you, especially when you have Bloodstained Mire and you're predominantly green and black and blue. Look this this is actually like the most perfect Sultai mana base I've ever seen. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. Hey man, you wanna give me some water? Maybe. Alright. What's it gonna take? What do I, what's I just wanna wait for picks. Some kind of weight. 
Oh, the breeding pool came back, dude. It's also wildwood. Wild, wild, wild wood. Don't do this wild, wild west. <laughs> I like that they both made wild, wild west references. That's nice. It's the best movie of our generation. I think it's wildwood here. But this comes into play untapped. I don't want too many tap lands. I do like having more white fixing though, because if we end up playing any white cards, we're just gonna need more white. We're more, more need more planes. I want to take the wildwood. Wild, wildwood. I guess it's wasteland here because we have to Gross. take it. Gross. Passing events here. God, that feels so bad. I think it might be. I, we have to take wasteland. I guess. I'm gonna stick to this to this dip. Oh, we have my elder. Actually, Garrick is probably the pick here. Yeah, let's pick powerful cards. Yeah, we want strong cards, not like another creature that's going to get us two more lands. Did you just take Yogmoth's bargain and draw all our lands? No. Polychronos? Yeah. You don't like bargain there? No. I like Deccan Stone. That's a playable card. Does it like you back? I don't know, Michael. I'm still waiting for it to do the thing. The YN? Yeah, the YN or maybe an M. Maybe they, they add their own box and they're like, M. We're never playing Bob. <laughs> I guess we are. Well, it doesn't mean we're playing it. We're not going to play Avalanche Riders, probably. Probably not playing Owner's Prowler, either. Oh, Mox Ruby. We have to take that over a land here. Power yeah, always that. supersedes. Yeah, that's our rule. And it's basically a land anyway, so... God, Primeval Titan and Torrential Gearhawk and Gristlebrand. Yeah, Mox. Mox it is. Mox off to you. Oh, this is a good pack, but it doesn't matter because we have to take the Marsh Flats. Actually, that's fine, though. It can't get anything. It gets a Bayou, actually. Yeah. And we could get a... Yeah, this is actually... I like... I don't mind taking the Marsh Flats. I do... The problem is you get these blinders on. You're like, I can't look at any other card in this pack. I'll just take the land and hope something good comes back. It's especially nice when there's packs with only one land in them. Because then you're like, yes, I'm going to get at least one pack. One card out of this pack. Passing first picks kind of sucks, though. Some type of way. That has to be the song, right? I think so, yeah. Where would you have heard this? I don't know. Where would you have heard this Rich Homie Kwan song? Radio, maybe? Was it on the radio ever? I don't know. What are you asking How me for? How many got? Uh, 183 million. Okay. <laughs> it's probably on the radio. Though. It might have been a popular song. Dang, that's insane, dude. Now we know. God, hip-hop artists get so many views. Oh, God. Windswept Heath. Yeah. That actually gets a bunch of stuff. That gets a bayou. That gets a tropical island... And again, if we get a white fetch land, well, not fetch land, but a, a white duel or shock land, it's good. We have 11 lands so far. Oh my god, do we really pass the mind twist for the stupid plateau? No. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a power, oh. right? That's a power card, right? I think, it, it, I think it is a power card. <sighs> I want a stupid plateau. We, we, we don't even have any red cards. Yeah, but the plateau is nice because we can get it with both a windswept piece and a Mars flats. Oh boy! Ooh. I think mind twist is power. I I'm gonna go on record and say that mind twist is power, and we're actually not gonna be able to win this draft if we don't take things that are this strong. Yeah, I'm gonna take it because I think it's power, and power is the the exception. It just wins the game on its own, so. Dead Sights, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Glad you were able to tune in. I guess it's got to be Urborg here. No, it does fix their black. Oh, God, I hate it, though. Oh, my God, now we got to take a Blood Crypt. What if we actually don't get any playables because they're all lands? Seems to be what's going on. I can't take this many lands, guys. Yeah, we got to start taking playables or actually we won't actually have a deck. We should have made the stipulation a little more... Uh... <laughs> the stipulation should be land or bomb. Actually, Maze of Ith is probably a better land here. It gives us something to do. Sure. And I'd rather not have another tapped man land. Oh my god, dude.
You have six playables. <laughs> I got seven. Oh, sure. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Una's Prowler. Oh, sorry, Una's Prowler. On the bright side, we do have 14 lands, so... Should we do last pack, no lands? That's what someone said. Yeah, the stipulation probably should have been uh, fetch duels and man lands. So then we like we have to take this now. Stipulation's bad. I think it's going to be fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop coming, lands? Is that a, is that an option? Apparently not. Oh yes, we got a, we get a card. It's just Sphinx's rev, so we can draw our lands. Yeah, probably. It feels like Sphinx's rev here. We're gonna stop. Pack two is gonna be the last pack. Pack three will not be included in the stipulation. So, but also we have sixteen lands. So literally, like our fixing is great. Uh, we're probably not playing wasteland. <laughs> I really want to take that pulse. So do I. I'm just taking the pulse. Stipulation be damned. I don't even care anymore, guys. All right, what's the pick here? Probably the Olivia. Yeah, I thought so too. Chandra. It's almost. I almost feel like it's Manglehorn here. Sure. Oh, wow. All right, I'll take Shieldred. That's, I don't know why that's in this cube. Diabolic Edix. What? <laughs> we might have to play it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to put all these lands on the sideboard. Sweet deck. And we got a, we got a Mox Ruby, though. That's pretty good. Look at our sideboard. <laughs> Dark Confidant, Una's Prowler. Oh, God, I actually want this Scrubland, comically enough. How much? I mean, like, we can get it with uh, both of our fetch lands, Windswept Heath and Marshlands. And Bloodstained Mire. We have three fetch lands. We can get it with all three of them. We're not giving up that much here. I like True Name, but I think it's actually Scrubland. You're past the Time Walk and a Snapcaster. That's pretty good. And you're the person who did that probably uh, probably regretted their life choices. We're not. We don't actually have that many blue lands. So I'm, I was reluctant to take a double blue card. We, if we're going to play all of our lands as our as our deck, like we have Hollowed Fountain, uh, Creeping Tarpet, and uh, Tropical Island as our blue cards. I just take Elspeth here. I do like Elspeth a lot. We're also a lot or heavier white with our lands. I don't think it's Elishnorn. I think Elspeth's better. Okay. Could also just be Leovold. I think Elspeth is better. Well, if we're doing a step where we close our eyes and take the top left card every pack, we can just take the... We don't have to close our eyes to do that because it's it's already set. It'd be harder to do with your eyes closed, actually, because you wouldn't know where your mouse is. You say... Yeah, right. Like, I could be like, oh, I took the wrong one because I'm not, my eyes are closed. I think it's... I, you said... You said... Do you think it's Elspeth? Yeah. The problem is we have Sakura Tribe Elder, and I don't actually know if we're playing any basic lands. Which is kind of awkward. Colagon's Command? Sure. Duplicant? I want to take threats. I mean, there's no threats in this pack. Archangel of Thune is fine, but like, yeah. she's not going to really pump anything is the problem. This this guy against us is pretty bad. Ooh. I guess it's duplicant. I like duplicant. God, Savannah's real good for us, too. You could probably take Savannah here. You don't like Sower of Temptation? Oh, that's pretty good. Sower is pretty good. Or Gruel Signet, actually. No, I think it's Sower. It's a double blue, though. Like, I don't like double blue right now. Mm, we have plenty of blue lands. We have three blue lands. That's plenty. <laughs> I don't think it is. Did you count the fedges? Uh, no, because you can only get, like... Because once you crack a fetch, you get another... I think it's actually Savannah. It's super weird. 
coercive portal bring to light could be good, but it doesn't get it doesn't actually get anything. It's creatures, right? Yeah, so it gets Plukronos, Olivia, Manglehorn, or Sakura Tribaler. That's it. I think I'd just rather have like coercive portal because it's great. You can channel into nothing. No. Rexage pretty good. Rexage we already have Manglehorn though. Rexage is better horn. I mean banishing light's better than both, right? True. Is is it Celestia Signet so we can just actually cast these expensive stuffs? I think it's actually Signet here. Alright. It also could just be channel and we can like course the portal sword. I think it's actually what is it channel? No. We don't have anything broken to do with it. Doesn't seem worth it. I mean we can channel into this on turn three. Yeah, that's pretty good. We could also channel into duplicate and channel into Chorus of Portal on turn two. I think that's still fine. We could also just find something to, to channel into. Is this just castable in our deck? <laughs> Probably. I think it's Corsair here. Yeah. This is also probably castable. It it's is. Definitely castable. It's 100% castable. Is it just Corsair? It could be Elspeth too. More threats. Hero Blade Hold. I like that. Me too, actually. I don't think there's anything else that we'd take over that. Nah. The card come in the game on its own. Dex, Dex looking a little iffy right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do have like three fetches for Courser too, so. I like a Baleful Strix. Birdie. <laughs> or is it Treasure Cruise because we have... No, we need we need threats. I'm almost tempted to take the Paladin. You though. think this is a threat? That's why I said the Paladin there. But then we don't have... We have nine creatures. We had eight creatures at that point, so like... Oh, I'm taking this Leovold. All right. Is it a Leshnorn? Is Leshnorn stronger? Yeah, it's definitely a stronger card. It shuts people out. But how many, like... How much mana? Like, we don't even have that much... Did we take the Signet? No, we didn't even take that Signet, did we? I thought we did. I did too. Huh. I think this is just a better card for our deck. Like... Sure. I actually like this now because we have Corsair of Crufix. Alright, so we need three more cards, three more playables. I oh, guess we can play God. Edict. I feel like we made a terrible mistake. Like, I just don't want to die before we hit seven mana. Oh, Edric and a Kitesell Freebooter. Edric. Sure. I think this is actually fine. All right. We got a deck. We made it. <laughs> Looks like we made it. This is certainly a pile. Oh, we got a voice of resurgence last pick. That's actually not even bad. Yeah, I'd rather play that over the grave digger. The, the grave digger. I would actually play it over the uh what was the other last pick we got? I'd probably play it over Tri Builder because I don't know how many basics we're gonna even have in this deck. That's fair. Let's find out. So we do want red because we have this. We want we actually have all colors, so that's pretty cool. So let's go to, uh, where is it? How do we, is it here? And it's properties, analysis. So I'm gonna use these color symbols as a reference here. So I know what we're working with. Okay. They're mostly green. Like, channel's good, because on turn four, we can play a Shield Red. On turn, we can play a, an Elspeth. Like, we don't have any sideboard cards, which is kind of unfortunate. So, it's uh, basically whatever we... Whatever we have, that's what we're going to play. So... Let's add all the green lands. Yeah. 
Definitely Uborg. Uborg? Yeah. Uborg. You mean Wooburg? Uborg. Uborg. Alright, so let's 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 try to figure out what kind of lands this is. Alright, so we have black, uh we'll go white, blue, black, red, green. White sources, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Meyer gets a scrubland, so nine. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that is nine white sources. Seems good. Blue, we have. Does Bloodstain Meyer get anything? No, we have no red or black blue lands, unfortunately. So we have one, two. Uh, Martial Arts gets Hall of Fountain, three. Four, five. Seems fine. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we have Urbor, we have infinite, so. This is a lot. Uh, red, we have one, two, three. Marshall, let's get anything. Yeah, Blood Crypt. So four. Windswept Teeth get anything? Mm, don't think so. So only four red sources, which is fine. We only have one five red card. Plus oh, plus Mox. So five. Alright. Plenty of red. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this story first. So the other night my dad called me telling me that my cousins were going to be in visiting from NYC for the weekend and he wanted to know if I was coming home to hang out. Naturally, I said yes and told him I'd take tomorrow off to help prep the house and get stuff ready. I got back here a few hours ago and as it turns out, my mom was in the kitchen with onions. Oh my god. I read that entire story just to get to that part. I feel terrible about my life choices. You knew it was going to happen. One, two. I had no idea. One, two, three. Martial arts definitely gets a... So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine green sources. Kind of seems fine. That's a that's a pretty good mana base. Especially because if you look at here, our white, black, and green are our most represented colors, and we have nine, nine, and nine of each of those. Yep. Uh, I might add a second, a sixth blue. That might be just our, our 17th land. Yeah, because okay. I want to be able to play Baleful Strix sure. or Edric or Leovold. Yeah, it seems fine. And I think that's... And we also have double on Sphinx, actually. Maybe we... Hmm. I think that's actually fine, because we have enough fetch lands that it's... This deck is real. It's it's, it's it's something, all right. It's, uh... I don't want to say it's good. Don't think it's really bad, though. I don't know what it is. That is such a long... Like, that's such a long post... To, for just to be a troll. I mean, I commend you for it. Like, bravo, my friend. Bravo. Yes, we still have Olivia. This this hand looks great uh, if we had one more land. Look at all these colors. This is like the Alara Reborn draft. Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna, do we keep this hand? We did. We kept it. Okay. <laughs> Any one land in our deck, and we can cast literally either of these, or both. Uh, there's definitely some combinations that don't let us draw that. Name one. Red, white land. That lets no, us that play voice. Dang it. Every land. We have the blue for this, and we have the green for this. So we need a black land, or a white land. Which is like all of our lands. That's like all of our lands. Mox Ruby. That's not a land. <laughs> okay, calm down. Did it! Hey, man, are you going to give me that drink? Also, now if we draw any black land, we can play Leovold as well, so. I guess I could go get some spaghetti. I'll be back. Um, did someone touch my spaghetti? Maybe.
Well, that's awkward. Mama's little baby love shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby love shortening bread. That's not how that works. Green. Oh, we do have black now. What? That's gravy. Good, good gravy, my friends. Good gravy. We cast this guy. I'd like to have the voice of resurgence down as soon as we can, so we can not get, uh, so we can like capitalize off of off of their their spells on our turn. But I also want to draw lands to make sure we hit lands. So, hmm. We did not hit a land, unfortunately. I have all the legendary elves in my hand, which is kind of cool. Urborg is great fixing for us. You ain't wrong. I don't understand when people ask you if you're the real Frank before. Like, have there been known imposters that set out to act like you in random games? On, like, I kind of get the question if it's out of the context of magic. But right, I also think that too. And I appreciate it because they think I'm actually uh, worth impersonating, I guess. But Mike is getting a bunch of ice, and he's going to be chomping it this whole time. I guarantee you. I heard it. I heard it hit the glass. Don't tell me what I'm going to do. Hey, man. Son of a bitch. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Yeah. Uh -huh. Fucking Schmidt. They played an Urborg. That's good for us. <laughs> yeah. We missed a land drop, but we still got to play Voice and uh, Baleful Strix so far. Congratulations. Oh, dang it. Wow. Wow. What's it like ruining your life all the time? Oh, look, we drew our Urborg. Or Schmurborg. Schmur now we're just going to play Edric and draw two cards. What's a Schmurborg? Are you, can you, can you not ruin your life, at, like, regularly? Oh, no. I know. Oh, God. Whew. Mother of God. We get to draw two cards because of that trick. Your mother nor your God will save you. <laughs> really? Do we draw another card? I don't want to have to discard. Why yeah. not? I don't know. Always draw. Always draw the cards, right? I guess we get rid of Nizumi Grave Robber. Yeah, our card is poop. Or we can get rid of Stirring Wildwood. I think it's Wildwood, probably. It's Grave Robber. That card is poop, man. Alright, well, you get to play this guy now. What is this? Like, I have this packet of Black Cherry Limeade, which you guys probably can't even see because it's, it's, it's green. Oh, you can see it, actually. That's weird. A little bit. Oh, like it's completely seeable. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, and it's got like this big hard bit at the bottom. It's not like... It's not powder. It's hard. It's a hard bit. Maybe it's oh, candy. a frost titan. Well, we can't deal with that, unfortunately. So I guess we just lose. Man, you say a lot in Cuba. Wow, this one too. All right, well we, do, well, we can't deal with the Frost Titan. I, we say that about Frost Titan a lot, yeah. I guess we can block it with this Strix. Why is it multicolored? You know what? I don't know, man. Moto. Oh, because no, because Liliana got it back and it's a black oh. zombie. Okay. Do you want to buy you? No, we want. Well, none of these actually doesn't matter, I guess. So we have green, green, green. We'll have white, white, double white. We want the second white for uh, Archangel of Thune, so. You can't pause it yet. Right. We also can't cast anything now, which is unfortunate. Oh, we can now we can't cast anything. We can cast Pulse on the Liliana, but I feel, like, we kill the I feel like we should probably be saving it to the, for the Titan, yeah. 
Unfortunately, that blood stain mark should have gotten a blue, but there was no blue to get. So, yeah, we definitely can't pulse the Titan. That's not how Titan works, unfortunately. Well, we can't deal with that. Like they're going to tap another land down. It's going to cost five mana to pulse this guy. You guys understand that, right? <laughs> like it doesn't cost three mana to, to kill a Titan. It kills. It costs five mana. It costs whatever you have plus two. And maybe plus three if they tap down one of your lands. So we have to have six mana potentially in order to kill a Frost Titan. So, no, we cannot kill Frost Titan right now. I don't think we can actually cast anything. Probably should have just been stirring Wildwood. Yeah, everyone forgets about the Titan trigger because they're too busy trying to be uh, super clever in stream. <laughs> They're like, oh, let me tell you exactly how you can kill your guy. Well, that doesn't really work, unfortunately. But, uh, double blue. <laughs> That's very true, though. Twitch chat, like, it's, it's so much easier to forget things. It's both easier to forget things in chat because you're not in the game. You're not 100% committed to the game like the player is. Um, but it's also a lot harder for some for the player to see certain lines because they're so committed to the game. You know what I mean? Why do I keep tapping my blue down? I thought we was friends. You thought wrong. I did think wrong. God, I have five cards in hand. We do have a Diabolic Edict, but it's in the sideboard. I might just actually bring it in for the Dazubi guy, because I see they don't have a lot of creatures. Welp. That's cool. I like this stipulation better if it's like, you have to draft 17 lands. Uh, we attacked there because I forgot about that, because I was too busy listening to chat, and I forgot about the Riftwing Cloudscape, to be quite honest. I was trying to get the Liliana. We can't do anything about this, unfortunately. Like, I could kill this guy, but I don't see how we don't die to, to Frost Titan. I think you have to get rid of him, though. Yeah, I can't just leave the Jason on board. He's the real MVP. Like, Frost Titan's so extremely oppressive, like, it's not even... Probably going to block here because next turn they can just tap down my blocker. So we would go to, we'd take eight here and we go to five. And then if they're able to deal with one blocker and then tap down the other, they just kill us. So we have to prevent the damage when we're able to. <laughs> oh, I don't have contempt for the audience. I actually love my Twitch chat. My chat is probably one of my favorite. I, I say it constantly. My, my The chat is one of my literal favorite things about streaming. Specifically my chat, like, I have, I, somehow I got lucky and have some of the coolest chat there is, but I have contempt for people, like, uh, trying to, uh, you know, one-up and, like, try to be like, oh, that would have been great. They have six cards in hand, they didn't play anything. Didn't need to. <laughs> Touché. Actually, has to be this one. Mama, don't take my code of chrome away. Sure, you got it. Don't beat me too bad. No, you have Jace the Mind Sculptor and lots of other good cards, so you'll be fine. Sure. Actually, this guy could be good if they're reanimating. I think they're both fine here. What do we take out, though? C 
Chris, we actually just watched the season five lineup for Hot Ones like before we started streaming. So it's kind of funny that you mentioned that. I want to take out Manglehorn. We didn't see any artifacts. Correct. Correct. Um. Dear Dr. Love, I recently found out that my girlfriend has been cheating on me with my butler, and I was thinking about murdering him with either a candelabra of Tanos or an Umazawa's Jitte. What do you think a good room would be to do that in? Uh, well, that's a good question. You see, love is a dirty thing, and, uh, <laughs> why? I kind of want to play this first, even though this comes into play tapped, because if we draw a second green... We can play other things. It's got to be this. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know what I'm saying? Also, the answer is in your basement. The answer is in your basement. Whenever you're going to uh, murder a loved one or an ex-loved one with a, an Umazawa's Jitte or a Candelabra of Tanos, uh, you want to do it as close to sea level as possible. So, uh, yeah, you just enjoy that basement murder spree and uh, let us know how it goes. We... Uh, they have a library, so to go along with their Jace the Mind oh, sculptor. Oh, that's good. Don't beat me too bad. <laughs> 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 no, it's like one. I love it. I love it when they do that. My favorite thing is when people are like, um, oh, this deck is a train wreck, and then they proceed to crush you 2-0, and none of the games are ever close. And they're like, I swear, these are probably the only games I'm going to win. That is the most frustrating thing ever for me. I mean, my deck's only good if I draw my library of Alexander or my Jace the Mind sculptor. <laughs> But you did both of the oh, games. The well, we get Coercer Portal, which is actually pretty good here. This is like a library, but it doesn't cost me a land each turn. And also, uh, it I always get to draw no matter how many cards I have. So, in your face. In your face, buddy! Do you know that sea level is arbitrary... Uh, sort of. There's no predefined actual definition that's agreed upon upon what sea level means. See, knowing you, Water Sports Drew, I have no idea if that's actually true or if you made that up to try to, and, and you're going to pass it off and be like, hey, man, you see, anybody can make up facts about sea level and you'd never know. Also, Mike sounded like the sock puppet in the It's Made of Evan Cookies video just then. Okay. I don't know what that video is, but I'm interested. Mama, don't take my Kodachrome away. Hey, we can't get a blue with this, which is really sad. It's really sad. And we need a blue because we got blue, blue, blue. Well, just, uh, I guess we go Savannah into Corsi. Horsey, Corsi. Horsey, Corsi. <laughs> don't, 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 don't joke shame me. Roadkill89 with a sub. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. I love you. We can get a hollow fountain with this. I lied to you. Let's look at this cookies video. I'm intrigued. Oh god. Well look at watch it later. Don't or, forget. Okay, I'll I'll load it up yeah, for now. Yeah, there you go. God, the internet's so weird. Oh god. Oh, Diabolic, you're just gonna make me sack that guy. That's cool. And then I get to draw the stupid <laughs> Looks like nightmare fuel. No way, man. That's a cutie. What are you talking about? No, that's not. We got an no, Urborg on top? I totally forgot about the Hollowed Fountain. I'm such a dummy and I'm sorry, guys. We did. We drafted it and I just forgot because our deck has 17 different non-basics. <laughs> okay, it's 15 non-basics, guys. You got me. Oh, look. It's old Gorgie. Gorgeous Gorgie. Gorgeous Gorgie. I hate you so much. I knew you were going to do it. Put for Carnage. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, this is like a fair trade. We lose Mox Ruby Corsion Portal and lose 1-1. One, one. You say that now, then he kills you. Maybe you do. Blue would have been good there. We have a... Oh, we get to... Yeah, we have a... We have a Hollow Fountain. We already figured this out. Someone told oh. us. Someone, right. someone told us about the cards in our deck. That's good. I like that. That's good. Green and a Black Aruski. No! No! I wanted to play this! And... God damn elves! God, stupid legendary elves, you pizza! Sh they all run together. Oh! 
This game is not going well, guys. All right, we're just going to open this. This is going to be easier. Okay, it's the same video. Yeah. Oh, God, I just want to cry. How many missed plays can we make in one in one match? There is no limit. You guys are here for the fun, though, right? Not for the, the solid strategic plays. That's not what this channel has ever been for. Oh, my God, these stupid elves, man. I'm sorry, did you mean me? No, I believe you meant me. They even look similar. They do, dude. They're, they're, they're just like, they're, they're all regal. Diplomatic elves. Yeah. They're both elf diplomats. You might call them elfomats. I won't. You can. But you might. Maybe you do. <laughs> I mean, on the bright side, we're drawing two cards a turn, right? Like, that's, that's what I'm here for. I kind of just want to trade with this guy, but then if they play any spell, it's not a trade. There's no, nah, just trade. He ain't got it. You don't think, they have seven cards in hand. You understand this, they right? got it. I'm going to assume they have it and they're going to play something anyway. No, they didn't. I told you they didn't have it. I want to hear your reaction when you were done watching the video. Maybe post your thoughts on the Discord. Speaking of which, Water Sports Drew, who are you in the Discord? Speaking of which, how does one get access to such a cool feature? What? Wait, you just, you, oh, the Discord. So you're not in the Discord. You, you look, look, they had Ponder, but maybe they thought it was an instant. Maybe they're just crazy. Any subscribers, you got to link your Discord and your Twitch, and you should get an invite to the channel. Yeah, just go to your Discord. It's in the settings. You have to do it from desktop. Yeah, you can't do it on mobile. You have to do it from desktop. So, do that. There'll be a little Twitch icon. Oh, you to dismember anyway. They had dismember. Which does which is weird because even if we blocked, they would have Yeah. All these things should have been done pre pre combat, I think, but I still don't know how we kill Mana Gorge or Hydra in this deck, which is kinda weird. Maelstrom Pulse. I think that's our one answer. That's a, that's our second answer. I like Grave Robber here actually. We just start eating their things. So we go Pulse, one, two, and then we Grave Robber, we can play this. Alright, I like this. Man, channel so good here. Is it? No. Oh, you're being, you're being, you're being, you're being, being a little, sassy. you're being a silly goose. It's true. I was being a silly goose. I'm gonna play this dude, and then I'm gonna deck and stone this dude. Give you a little clue, and then I'll play Grave Robbie. That's old Grave Robbie. They can't draw more than one card a turn, bro. So if they try to crack their clue during their turn, no sir. No sir. God, Leo Volbrun uh -huh. is so much such a better play last turn because it even would have made them not draw a card with Ponder. They would have just dismembered it. Yeah, but then we would have drawn a card. Also, to be fair, they could have gotten the dismember off the Ponder. No, they couldn't have because they wouldn't have been able to draw a card from Dismember or from Ponder. <gasps> oh, sure. <laughs> that does not work how you think it works. Would you like to make a deal? Oop, oop, oop. He's probably like, why didn't I get a card in my hand? I don't understand. The correct Elplomat this time. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. I'm going to... When your opponent misplays against the card, the correct the correct choice is to... Uh, look, this is also a three-for-one now. They wasted a hero's downfall. They didn't draw off library. And we get to draw a card. Oh, and we get shouldered back. Back? Uh, I meant Leo I meant Leovold. I don't know how magic works, man. Leave me alone. Clearly. I will never name Carnage. <laughs> Okay, all this is all this is just fine. One, two, three, four, six. So we can actually just play Shieldred. Seems good. Or we can just start exiling their graveyard. I don't think that does anything though. I think I'd rather just have Shieldred out. You want to win the game instead of Durlin around? I agree. Do I just attack with this grave robber? Why not? Maybe you do. 
Maybe we all do. I feel like for drawing two cards a turn, we are not actually drawing many cards. It's because our whole deck is lands. <laughs> we don't have more lands on our deck than any other deck, though. That's where you're wrong. Moto Shuffler. I feel like we have less lands because we have three fetches. I hate playing Shouldered on an empty board. Like, if they don't have a creature to sacrifice. Wow, they got Creeping Tarpet, Lumbering Falls, and Hissing Quagmire. What did they just do? Oh, they cracked their clue. Okay. Come on, give me one one thing with Shouldered. Uh, Patrick Kirby, that is actually a... He's a not a pit bull. He's a Pointer Greyhound mix. And he is a wonderful gentleman. And it's also not white creatures. It's actually all of white. All right. Let's get Leovold back. How about that? Leovold is probably the best creature in our deck. Uh, Edric might have actually been better there. Just we draw more cards off of it. Uh, Leovold protects things better. It protect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing two cards a turn, Mitchell. Yeah, but you could draw like four cards this turn. I have enough cards in my hand. I'm, I already won this game. Whoa, now. Oh, now. Oh, tell your doggo happy birthday. He do protect. I get to draw cards when they, when they kill my things. And that's all I really want. Kid Cabbage with the sub. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Broods o -tudes. You think he's a rapper? I was... Who? Kid Cabbage? Yeah. That is a rapper name, dude. I hope they don't have Damnation. Uh, if they don't, I think we're in good shape. If they do, I think we're in bad shape. You could also go by Lil Cabbage. <laughs> Lil Cab. <laughs> All of these are good names. I agree with you. Oh my god, I missed... Remember when Hunter and, and Nigel were playing together and Nigel was really scared, but then he was like, nah, I don't care anymore. Yeah, Hunter's like the front... Here we go, Damnation. They 100% have... No, they don't have it. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. But I just kill you this turn. You're just dead, I think. I kill you this turn. You are dead. I'm gonna get to get back Edric now. And then he never came back inside. <laughs> Do you make beats? You like that I said, let's get back Edric, and then I got back Corsair Crew Fix. <laughs> yeah, man, you're doing good. I'm like, I'm paying too much attention to the chat and like laughing and having a good time. And I mean, that's life, man. That's I think that's the important part. But how long must this go on? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually duplicate. One, two. Three, can. four, five, six. Three, four, five. Oh, in my upkeep. I haven't even drawn my second card yet. You also probably want to tap so you can still pulse. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we, oh, we you have Urborg. No, yeah, we got we, the, yeah. we both have Urborg. There's Urborgs for days. I want you to show me the way. Show me the way. Some type of way. Oh, they conceded. I probably actually wouldn't play. I wouldn't actually play Maelstrom Pulse. Yes, I would. <laughs> That's a lie. Um, do we board in any of these four cards? Hmm. No. no, probably not. Okay. Wasteland could actually be reasonable. Because they have three man lands. Yeah, put that in our five-color deck. Seems good. Point taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I believe I can fly. Made a couple for doing my job and then another person. That's cool, dude. That's awesome. Man, that's so funny that we just jokingly said that. And then he was like, actually, I am a beat master. This is fine. You couldn't go. I would have kept that. You kept the land on top? I want to be able to do things. We have windswept teeth. But I want to cast this buff. If we have s multiple turns, and this gets a savannah, so. That's one white. It also gets a scrub land. That's two white. That's not how that works. 
You don't know how things work. What are you, some kind of workologist? Yeah, man, I'm a workologist. Yeah. Knew it. I know how your workology works. Do you? No, I don't. I lied to you. All right, so actually we can go Voice of Resurgence into Leovold. I guess we get, do we get Hollow Fountain here? What do we get here? Let's figure this out. I feel like I'm playing modern and I have to figure out my mana base. It's definitely a white source. So it's either Temple Scrub, Savannah, or it's one of these four. <laughs> okay. So we have two green, two black, and two blue. Okay, so actually that's pretty good. It might not matter then. I don't think it does. Uh, we, they might have Urborg, so I think Scrubland is out. So it just depends on if we... I don't think we want... Temple Garden's also just worse than Savannah. Yeah, it hurt. I think it just might be Hollowed Fountain. I'm just going to get the Savannah. Don't counter this. Just let it happen. Mana leak. Yep. Every time. Never fails. Never fails. Hmm. It has never failed. I'm so used to YouTube. My attention span was like, okay, just fast forward the search. Wow. Like, I feel like I would overshoot the fast forwarding so much that, uh, oh, wow. If we had Leovold down, that'd be so sick. That I would just waste just as much time fast forwarding the search. And now we have three green. As I would if I just watched the search happen. God, Leovold's so good, dude. Well, we already had two green before the Savannah. We had Tropical Island and His and Quagmire. Two green was never a problem. And Savannah was only ever going to get us one. All of the cards we were looking at got us one white for, for Elspeth. So Savannah doesn't get us a second white or a second green. That is the second white, though. Yes. Do we try? Do we play Pelucranos now and hope for a another land, or do we play? Do we, do we try to play Garrick next turn? I like Garrick. And Pelucranos puts another body on the board, though. Put the bodies on the board. Remember that? That's a. Who was that band? It wasn't Puddle of Mud, was it? No, Puddle Maybe. of Mud is like that. No, Puddle of Mud is that like that more rednecky band, I think. Who is the body? Drowning Pool. There you go. I knew it was a pool. There was water involved. I knew it was either mud or a puddle or a pool. I knew it was, I knew it was some kind of watery element there. Here comes the. Oh, there you go. I hope you bounce the guy. Oh my god, you bounce Pelucranos and we get to draw a card? What? Nothing wrong with me. Woo! Nothing wrong with me. And we get to kill Jace? This has actually worked out because now we just get to replay Pelucranos, so. Otherwise, they would have bounced Leovold and we wouldn't have a guy on board, so. I'm about it, about it. Yeah, this seems like a pretty good turn for us. I'm okay with killing a Jace and replaying a Pelucranos. And drawing a card. And playing a land. All of these things are okay with me. Nothing wrong with me! Something's got to give. Something's <laughs> got to give. <laughs> Welcome to Frank and Mike's New Metal Magic Stream. <laughs> oh, boy. The only card we can't cast is Olivia. That's pretty cool. No, that's a dude. I don't mind Elspeth plussing right now, either. If we draw a land... And we can get a Blood Crypt with this, or, uh, yeah, I guess it's just Blood Crypt. But I guess we don't even have to, we don't even have to search here, we can just... Yeah, I don't want you making more zombies, so I think we're just gonna have to plus Elspeth here. Or negative Elspeth, rather. Oh, but then we lose our Pelucranos? Maybe we just... It's an okay trade. No, but then they kill our Elspeth. Like, Elspeth just survives if we plus. I don't think they ever get by. 
They never get by. Oh, 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 oh. He was up till the 15th. We can also just draw five off of Garrick. What up, Gunker? Is that how I pronounce it? Gunk? Should I just call you Gunk? Should I call you Dan? I guess I can call you Daniel, right? Daniel is traveling tonight on a plane. Uh, you can't call me Daniel. That's not my name. I'm not talking. I'll never talk to you. Never? Never. You just responded to me. Gotcha. Oh, uh, oh dang it. Actually, you did get me. I wasn't even... I didn't even consider that. Mm -hmm. Um. So they vampiric tutored during their upkeep, so I'm afraid of what they have now. Hero's downfall will probably kill Elspeth. Or Hero's downfall kill Pelucranos as he, as he double blocks this guy. I'm afraid that they might touch him my spaghetti. I'm afraid something's got to give. <laughs> <laughs> did you like that, Michael? It was pretty good. These are some easy blocks, actually. I'll just do it like this. So then we just kill the two the two zombos that they were gonna make anyway. So and we get to net two tokens. Something's got to give. Yeah, Mike did outplay me. That was pretty good, man. Oh, I do like taking their grave titan with Olivia. So we do we do actually need the blood stained, uh, the blood crypt. I'll get my blood crypt. That's pretty good. There's no creatures to get back, though, so you're just making zombos? I just really like zombos. I can see the red tan lion heading with me. How much damage can I deal here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not a lot. Like two. I can see Daniel waving uh, yes, goodbye. Yes, this was a stipulation. We drafted uh, lands first. God, it looks like Daniel. Must be the clouds in my ass. What? Shut up, you nerd. What? What? Huh? Something's got to give. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like that? Yeah, something definitely has got to give. What do you think it is? What do you think has to give? I feel like it maybe it should have been Archangel of Thune this turn. Five cards. I think I'm going to make a beast first so that this guy survives. We can't do anything with the five cards this turn. We can look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Good good call. Good call. Must be the clouds in my eyes. Hosmania, why do you do this to me? Why do you get that in my head? With their tanks and their bombs and their bombs and their Lilianas. <laughs> it's not my finest work. All right, two more in the two more in the bin. Dismember and Mystic Confluence. Ooh, -wee, I like those two. No, Hostie Mania, I love that song, but I just don't want to suck my head. Looking at cards is the path to victory, Michael. Wow. Oh, you're killing my Garrick. I thought you were killing my. Dang, and we get to draw a card. So instead of drawing five, we get to draw one, which is still pretty good. Olivol isn't just creature charge. No, it's whenever a permanent. Gross. <laughs> yeah, he's utterly disgusting, which is why he's like. That's like how much he was. I think he was like 90 last time or 50 or something ridiculous. He was part of like a legacy deck too, right? Yeah, he's in, he was in, the only set he was in was uh the one conspiracy set. Oh, he's only 35, which is pretty good actually. I would have thought more. Still pretty pricey. For With their pretty tanks good. and their mics and, all right. So like if we play Archangel of Thune and start giving all these guys plus one, plus one counters, in that's just good for boy. us, right? What about a Game Boy? I like him. Like the old school one? Something's got to give! I wish you didn't get this song stuck in my head. That wasn't me. Who was it, you think? My dad. It was your dad? Three, four, five. I'm just going to block with these guys. If you have a removal spell and you want to trade with all my tokens, that's fine. Did they play... Did they activate... Uh, yeah, they activated a little on already. Cool, so they can't get back Grave Titan. 
This was a stipulation. We took the lands first. Like, we always took lands. Literally always took lands, and we should have put a more restrictive stipulation on it because we literally just almost took too many lands. Like, if there was just a land in every pack, we were just we would have just taken every... Maybe, like, 10 lands or 15 lands? Yeah, we should have had a stipulation where we have to draft, like, 15 lands. Something's got... Actually, we can just ultimate Elspeth next turn. Seems good. That is pretty good. You okay, man? No. I feel like you just died a little bit. Really going to ultimate? Uh, uh, what's your ultimate do? Uh, destroy all non-zombie creatures. That's rough. Yeah, we can just activate creeping tarpon and attack it. I think we have to now, actually. Uh, add a bluesels and a blacksels and a color lissels. I wish we had a second blue. That'd be great. But I hope they don't have a, a rule for this guy because, woo, I would cry. I guess we get to draw a card, but that doesn't seem great. I think we're doing it. I think we did it. All right, we dodged a bullet. Bullet successfully dodged. Create some dudes. All you. Yeah, Leovold is a pretty silly commander. Just make it that you can't draft cards you wouldn't be able to play using only your previously drafted cards. Wow, that seems... Well, we didn't draft a Hissing Quagmire yet, so we can't cast any blue or black cards. That seems terrible. Yo, Juposhi, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Juposhi, what a go what a going on? With their tanks, and their mics, and their mics, and their tanks. Oh my god, my brother in onion arms. Okay, block you, block you, block you, block you, block you, and probably block you, I guess. I guess I'll just block you and kill you guys. Who needs creatures when, you, when, you're, when you're forcing your opponent to suicide all their guys into your guys? Uh, you do, because if you didn't have any guys, you couldn't do that. Can't I, though? No. Can't I? No. Hmm. I see. Is Mama still in the kitchen with onions? I think so. Why are you like this? Why are, you, why are any of you like this? Is it just these two? Or do we just... I don't think we kill you because you don't really do anything at this at this juncture. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Or do we just kill you? It seems good. Can we just kill you right now? No, they only get plus 2, plus 2. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, we've been one shy. I guess we can attack with Creeping Tarpet though, right? They have yeah. four cards though. It's kind of a little risky. They haven't seen any removal from them though. I mean, they, we have seen Dismember and Hero's Downfall go to the graveyard. Right. I think we can take one turn off and just play it a little safer. And we get to keep our Elspeth if we do that. So we're going to go blue and black. Sure. Black. Red. Wait. Whoa. What's going on here? I have no idea what it just tried to do. I think we tried to activate a land or something there. All right. Yeah, we'll just win next turn. Or try to, anyway. With Mike's tanks. And Mike's mom. In your head. In your head. Mike is dying. Sorry about that, buddy. 
Sorry about your your death in my head. Sorry about your death in my head. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's weird that you said it like that. So they mailed a forest. Oh my god. There are green cards in your deck that we have yet to... Oh yeah, they had like Lumbering Falls and Hissing Quagmire, didn't they? Guess. What if they just have a hand of green cards? Could be. Mm, could be. No attack. Now I'm intrigued. Well, now we're definitely emblemming. Pretty sure that's game. Good games. Woo. Got him. Dead Sight X. Thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it, buddy. On the tubes of the U. Old El Tuberino, as the kids say. Okay, that's, okay, that's a bit much. Oh. Hey, man. You like this Mike's oh, Lump yeah, song? I saw it. Your lovely Michael I Lumps? Man, I'm surprised we won that game. They had uh, Library of Alexandra and Dak Faden. Did you see that? No. You didn't see those cards? Dak Faden? No. Not Dak Faden. Jason the Mind Sculptor. Why did I say Dak Faden? I don't know. Why am I like this? I don't know. Why is this... Why is this black cherry limeade like this? I don't know. You should probably throw it out. What if I take a hammer and smash it? You will make a mess. Back to its original components. Let's play first, eh? Eh. eh. Um, this is actually a, uh, a Leovold, a uh, voice of resurgence in a Leovold hand. We get a hollowed fountain, and then we have green, blue, black. Hollow daddy. This hand is great. I'm a I'm a fanarino. Mike, are you in the kitchen with onions, bro? Every day. Uh, every day. What if our opponent goes to four? That would be good, right? Yeah. Hollowed fountain? Ho hollowed? Hollowed? I don't say it like that. I say hollowed fountain. Hollowed. Hollowed. These hollowed halls. Hollowed. 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 I know what the card is, man. <laughs> I got a goddamn English degree for crying out loud. I'm sorry I don't pronounce it perfectly. They're going to take your degree away. Well, the KKK took my baby away, so. They took her away. Oh, well, that's not the scary Jace, so I actually Ooh. mind that less. Still pretty good. Eh, ain't that bad. I'll get rid of it. The KKK took my baby away. They took her away. If this deck wore pants, it would say juicy on the butt. Well. <laughs> It feels like the, the all creatures deck in modern where you're just like playing all these colored lands and um, you're just like out ancient ziggurats. And like, oh, he let us both draw. I was like, why did that get in my hand? Is it my turn? Did I have six through my turn? I got scared. I got real scared. Yeah, Black Lotus is a pretty good card. <laughs> Man, that Black Lotus card seems pretty good. <laughs> Is that a new card? Wow. <sighs> Must be nice. I think it must be, actually. Green, blue, black -aroo. I got a green and a blue and a black and now I try to draw extra cards, chump. Oh, that's actually great. I would have actually attacked them. Why? If they get ready, but I don't want them to get real evil. I want. I like having backup plans, man. I, I don't. <laughs> okay, well. I go for it all. What is the black bottle you are sometimes? Black. It's literally just water. It's a black bottle with, and I put water in it. It's a water bottle. Oh, I see. You're going to play a Johnny and kill my Leovold. I will use the ability. Oh, I get to kill a Johnny, though. That's pretty... That's a feel-good moment. 
Phil Johnny play Euro? Seems good. That does seem good. Attack a Johnny Vangy. Could have also attacked Jace with the uh, Stirring Wildwood and just ruined all their, all their P-Walkers. I mean, he would have lived. Would have went to one. Means we have to draw a card. Oh, thanks. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Glad we can put that mystery to rest. I do sometimes add uh, flavor packets to it. Like, uh, this is True Lime Black Cherry Limeade. True Lime Kush? And then I... <laughs> yeah, it's that Kush. It's, uh, it goes... It goes True Lime and then Purple Nurple and then Pineapple Express right below that. So those are my Kush orders. Oh, Treachery. You stole my Hero of Blade Hold. How nice. I, this deck is really good. I appreciate Lotus, that you did that. Mox, Treachery. That's all you really need to win the game. Pretty much. Now we have to Declaration and Stone our own creature. Uh, yes. I don't think that's a packet of crystal light. I think that's a marijuana cigarette. You might be right. Too, huh? It is a marijuana cigarette. Don't laugh at that. Why not? I don't want you to, okay? Well, I did anyway. Good. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. I hope your whole life is easier because of it. It is. Great. It's not. Oh. <laughs> it is. It's not. God, what do I even kill here? I guess the Chandra? Crying out loud, man. I don't feel good about these choices that I have to make here. The Marijuana Cigarette. Uh, part two of the set review is going up tomorrow. Part three is going up the day after that. Part four is going up the day after that. So I'm going to have them all staggered out up until the release next Friday. So one per day at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. So be sure to check those out. You can follow me on YouTube at franklapore.com slash youtube.com slash franklapore. I nailed it. Nailed it. Zagon42, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, took a couple tries, but you nailed it. I know. Remember that night when it looked like Mike had a marijuana cigarette in his mouth? Yes, I do. Turns out it was a Hershey's wrapper because Mike is... No, it was a marijuana cigarette. <laughs> I was a cigarette. Okay. Oh, look, they killed my my guy. That's... That's a fun. You that's didn't a even do it on our turn. That's a fun adventure we're having. I disagree. Can I draw a baleful strix? No, I don't want that. What do you want? I don't know. I want the KKK to not take my baby away. That's a good one, actually. Well, that's not gonna happen. So they're not gonna. They're not gonna leave, leave my baby alone. <laughs> I have an Archangel of Thune. She hath resolved. I feel like this deck is bad against us. Oh, on stream, I see. Um, will the addition last night during the review show up in any of the videos? I don't think so. Uh, because I, when I was doing the review, I did it specifically with YouTube in mind, so I didn't actually put the Twitch alerts up there. Um... I did get yours, though, and uh, you said, thanks for doing these interviews. And I really appreciate it. And you are awesome, Game Trader. Game Trader 2, the second of your name. They have eight cards in hand. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good dude. And you get to kill my Archangel of Thune. How fun. How Maybe he fun. Maybe will deal one damage. Maybe he won't. Oh, he did. Look at that. Wow. Actually, Shielded next turn is pretty pretty utterly insane because we get to make them sack their Inferno Titan. Inferno... Inferno Tits. Inferno Dead. The KKK took Michael away. Where did they take me? I don't know, Michael. It's not my job to tell you these things. What if it was? But I would tell you. It is now. <laughs> tell me. It's your job now. I like that you can never stop this. Trigger just goes on the stack, and your dude goes in the trash can. Plus he's got a bouncy. He's got to have it for one mana. I don't think there are any. Then he's going to go in the trash can. 
I also thought it was good good times last night. I'm looking forward to the part two. Where we have more good times with energy with with uh Ixalan cards. Still have eight cards in hand. Where's that mind twist we need? Am I right? Am one. I right? We don't have one. Yeah, we do. In our deck? No, man. That was the other draft. No, that was this draft. No, man. That was 100% this draft because we took it. We had to convince people. To... It is this draft. <laughs> I hate you. I try not to, but it's so hard. Like, you, you are a naturally hateable person. I do my best. What is the voice you occasionally do? What what voice? Which one? I do so. I do a lot of voices actually. So, I uh, I do this voice sometimes. And then I, I I have a lot of voices. I'm not just going to run through my voices right now, okay? That's not what I do, okay? That's not what I do. You have so many voices, you couldn't even do that if you tried. I don't think my voice is supposed to be anyone. No, they're just funny voices I do. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of stuff in the new set I'm looking forward to playing. If you're interested, be sure to go on YouTube and check out the set review that I'm doing. The first voice? I don't think there was a first voice. The first of his name. If you can't kill this, dude, we're going to get back Leovold probably. Oh, you're gonna oh, you're gonna you're gonna tap it down. You just got right. You gonna kill a tap creature? You got oh, you're gonna play a Johnny and tap it down. No, you're gonna metamorph and copy it. Okay, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's obnoxiously good, because now we get to we have to sacrifice our own creature. I guess we get to duplicate this, and it becomes a what a zero zero. How does this work? Tell me how it duplicate zero, works. Zero. No, it'd just be a six six or whatever shielder is. Is it Leovold here? I think it has to be Leovold, right? I guess. God, I wish I had... Oh, I could have sacrificed the stupid stirring Wildwood! Can you still do that? No, because it, I I waited too long because of the magic online. Oh, that's so one, two, three, four, one, two. We could have Livia and steal this, but like, it just takes way too much mana is the problem. I don't know if this is going to be a 6-6. Six, six. Because this is a card is a 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, it's going to be mana drain, so don't worry about it. Yep, guess I... And they get in front of Titan back. Alright, I guess we're done here. That was a fun match. I disagree. Oh, that wasn't. That was just game one. I thought that was I thought that was the match for some reason. They don't have many creatures, so I'm going to bring in Diabolic Edict again. Nope, you must suffer longer. <laughs> I mean, we lost game one in the first match, too. I think this game would have been totally different if we just actually sacrificed the man land. Like, that was a significant difference. You might say that. Are you talking about this voice? This old timey ounce of voice? Is this the voice that you were talking about? Uh, which one I do? Oh, and then we got Papa's mustache round in the first. And then uh, it's, we got we got Jupiter's run close behind. And then we got Saturn's moons. And uh, then we got the old, uh, you know, that's like the old timey racer guy. That's, that's who that is. You some kind of racer? I think the game would have been completely different if you had a different deck. I agree with you. That's actually true. What are you, some kind of dirt burger? Obviously. Got him. Do we have Sphinx's Rev? Man, we have Sphinx's Rev and Mind Twist. We have we can draw X cards or discard X cards? No, we can't because we never draw them. Yeah, we're playing everything because we drafted all these lands. <laughs> what did you say to me? I said no, we can't because we can never draw those cards. I hate you. <laughs> some kind of dirt burger some kind of dirt burger uh actually it was the lotus mox treachery deck steven thank you very much i don't know if i like this hand i don't it's that means then i love it <laughs> okay you don't like it i think it's fantastic watch here comes uh turn two voice of resurgence that we can't play because we played this ready Waiting. Oof. All right. That was good. Some type of way. Some type of way. All right. So all, all they also have Manage Rain. That's true. Oh, that's a good one. Tap out for a Jace this turn. So then I can mind twist you for three whole cards. Hmm. They didn't want to do that, I guess. 
They did not. Oh, God, I want to play this so bad, but it's just going to get countered, right? It's going to get mana drained into the stone. Age. We only saw one counter spell, so maybe we just get away with it. We don't. Yep, here we go. Oh, I got an island. I had mana drain all the time. Of course you did. Why wouldn't you? I don't understand. Like, there's no actual reason why you wouldn't have that. I mean, you have 40 cards in your deck. You have one of those. Of course it would be in your first 12. Enjoy your eight mana this turn. Oh, I got turn four of Furto Titan. Oh, it's a Shashandra, that's all. Followed by a Jace the Mind Sculptor. <laughs> Don't say it, it'll make it true. I know. Some type of way. Here we go. Oh, actually, they're just going to play in front of Titan also. Oh, or that's special. or Glenland's Archmage. Like you do. You can try to kill this Chandra. You think he's going to counter it? I will try to kill this Chandra. Oh, 100 bits. Long time fan of YouTube. but was finally able to catch a live stream. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, Brabbit Clash. Get in there. Do it. Do it. Do it. God, can you imagine if that core support was stuck and they just didn't have the one mana drain in their deck? I can't. I can only imagine. I what what a what a time to be alive. What a world we're living in. Oh, a little ponder, huh? That's cute. Oh, I got a little ponder. Ha huh? Oh, I drew an Azorius Signet. Ho uh ho. -huh. Yeah, ho uh ho. -huh. Uh -huh. What year do you think this cube is? It's a vintage. What vintage do you think this cube is? 19 dickety 2. Oh, me too. Me too. Hashtag. Hashtag me too. <laughs> I think we're just killing Chandra here. And by killing Chandra, I mean we're going to activate Chandra and they're going to fire ice our creeping tar pit. And, uh, I think they fire it or they'll ice it. No, they fire it and then because it, it, it kills it. But they might ice it. They'll fire it. Okay, now they'll fire it. <clears throat> Char? Oh, good. Actually, even better. Hmm, ah, draw, ah. draw two cards. Oh. I just want to die. If we just don't come back from this, which is fine. Whatever. That went well. It didn't, though. That's the thing. Oh, you're right. My bad. I mean, maybe we're still in that game, but they're also drawing two cards a turn, and they have a Glenelg or Archmage for any spell. So our only live card in hand was Archangel of Thune. And they can also just negative Chandra to kill that. So, I didn't, for, I mean, we had Skinrunner in this deck. Yeah, did I? Wow. If they're in the Mafia, they'll ice it. That's a, that's a good point. Oh, boy. I mean, I guess we can hope to hit a green source. That's not that at all. But I don't like her being on the bottom of the library. She doesn't deserve that. I guess that, yeah, they could just treachery it, I guess. Where's our mox for crying out loud? Not like our mox can cast any card in our hand or deck, but it does let us mind twist a little better. Do the twist. Like you did last summer. Oh, I see. Eh, not the worst that could happen. No? Hey, we did get the got the green. It solves half our problems. Let's mind twist for one. 
Yeah, that seems good. I guess they are taking one a turn. That's pretty oh. good, right? Yeah, he's basically dead. And it deals with damage, so maybe he redirects it to his Garrick. I don't think that works like that. No, definitely doesn't. It's so funny how much different of a game it would be if they just didn't have manager in last game. Like, it's like a completely different game. It's like it's an unfair card or something. You're right. Like we did last year. Why do I have this twist song stuck in my head? Why not? Enjoy. That doesn't make any sense as a response. Why not? That doesn't... I'm I'm not saying... Oh my god, I can't... I'm not even going to explain it to you. This is how... Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Triggered. Oh lord, you know what I think about that. Someone touch my spaghetti. <laughs> Somebody touch my spaghetti! Is there audio for that? I wonder why it's not... Did the green screen have audio? Somebody yeah. touch my This is how you know. Hey, no, I mean... No, I mean like... The, the, the one we did? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, they took Mind Twist. To the surprise of no one. Oh! <laughs> Was too worried about what I saw. You forgot to forgot to take up Garrick. That's actually hilarious. Actually, I think we just kill Garrick here. Well, if you don't want to deal with more puppers. Spell Pierce. Oh my come on. Please don't do it. Don't. <sighs> Oh, the audio plays for them. Okay, cool. That's weird. I can't hear it. Is my volume too low? Maybe. It's okay. I mean, he forgets to he forgets to take up his Garrick, but he has the force spike for our, our maelstrom pulse. They did got him. How did they? I mean, they didn't really bait us. They just had a mana up, and we cast a spell. That's what happens when you get got <laughs> I guess you're right. I didn't really consider that. Yeah. Next time you will. Or maybe you won't. I don't care. Have you guys tried the taser challenge where you lick a taser in support of ALS? Wow. No, thank you. You know what? I'm going to have my doubt. I have my doubts that that's a real challenge. I think he might just be trying to kill us. Oh, uh, we time twistered and our hand is significantly worse now. Even if it is a real challenge, I'm just not going to do it. That's actually pretty good. Can you... There you go. I mean, this is rough because like, they just kill it with Garrick and then they deal us five, right? So. Probably. Let's twist again. Just have a different removal spell for it. I got a different removal spell for your mom. Oh, that's a good idea. Challenge about touching my spaghetti. <laughs> oh, boy. Spaghetti. You know what, ever, you know what it reminds me of every time I say spaghetti? Huh. You know who it reminds me of? No. Nick Esposito. That makes sense. Does it? Yeah. Why? Because he's always wanted to go to mom and pa's spaghetti shop or whatever. Well, he, he I think I just, I always hear him say spaghetti in my head. Yeah, look, they did what I said they were going to do. No, oh, that's good. What's good? What's good? Like in general? Yeah, man, what's good? Tell me what's good. What? Nothing. Nothing is good. Why are you making these sounds? What's wrong with you? I don't know. Do you want to do that challenge about touching my spaghetti? Sure. Okay. Seems good. The stipulation is we had to take all the lands. Oh, you had the... Oh, boy. 
that's actually pretty good. That's actually, that's actually damn good. <laughs> the old time twister into mind twister. Into get back my mind twister. This game sure is twisty. What a twist. Skin render dies, I go to four. Even if I mind twist you, I go to dead. Oh, like you. Can you just explain what's happening to me? Well, you did call it. I've lost my. I mean, we still do it, I guess, so we can see more cards, but. Well, we're not dead. We got a blocker and we got a. We're dead, but we got a land, so now we're not dead. We, we have survived. Where were you a turn ago, you stupid dirt burger? Eating dirt. Do you want to blow up their mana ball? Yeah, kind of. No, oh, force spike. That's good. Glad you had that. Sometimes you just want to die. Sometimes you just want to die. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me a fuck. You're going to force spike me twice in the same game? Come on, dude. Oh, yeah, Come on, dude. It's 100%. <laughs> uh, you see, if it happened two times out of two times, that is 100%. Oh. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm going to time twister or uh, shift away your good hand, and then I'm going to mind twist your entire hand. And then you're going to play this 2 2, this mediocre 2 2 that only chump blocks. I'll just force spike it again. But I do want to apologize because I forgot to activate my Garrick. I'm going to keep this hand. We can actually turn to channel and then cast our Mox Ruby off of it. Ooh, that seems good. We'll pay zero. Both of these can get Hollowed Fountain. This one can get a... Blood Crypt, but we don't actually need it. We just need green and white at this point. So I'm going to get white with this. Uh, we'll get a Hollow Fountain so we have double white. Or, no, actually... No, we have to get a Savannah with this one. Or a or Temple Garden. Probably a Temple Garden because uh, it doesn't cost us anything. Mana wise, or like so, then we can draw the savannah and not have to pay for it, and that gives us double white. And then we'll have a second green. Yeah, we can get trapped island. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunados. No, we can't get trapped. Oh, we can get trapped island. You're right. I see what you're saying. Like we did last summer. Yeah, let's twist again. Nelanip, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Really appreciate it. I'll see you on YouTube. Yeah, too bad I don't have fireball, so then it could just be force spiked. Yeah. I like that our opponent was like, oh man, I got so scared of your hand that I forgot to activate Garrick. And then I time twistered and mind twisted your entire hand away. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Come on, buddy. Well, they don't have blue right now, so whatever we do is uh, just gravy. Which is only play a 1 1. Oh, we can actually. Let's play Pelucranos. That seems better, right? Tad bit. Can we also just play Elspeth? Nope, because we have green, green, and then we only have one white mana. Oh, okay. You don't like looking at the mana. You just like seeing six and being like, we can cast that 100%. Yeah, why not? What could go wrong? Well, because you can't. That's why it's not. It's a Mox Pearl, right? Uh, no. Oh, well, it's a Rubers. It's a Mox Rubers. 
I'm more okay with being dazed because it's harder to play around. Part of the frustration with Force Spike is that it's so easy to play around. Yeah, right. You just, you're like, I mean, you can't look at one island and assume they have Force Spike. You just have to assume that they just tap their mana in such a way that they have a blue left over. Oh, God. It's pretty good. Uh huh. <laughs> this doesn't kill planeswalkers, right? Artifact creature or enchantment. Okay, good. Wow. Can't cast you. Big papa? Can't cast you. Can't cast you. Can't cast you. Oh, I guess we can cast you, but that's it. Like, that's really what all the only thing we can do. I just need one land. Any land. And we are in good shape. If it's a green, we can cast Garrick. If it's a black, we can cast Shielder. If it's a white, we can cast Elspeth. Actually, shoulder is pretty bad because it gets killed by Vraska. So we actually just want a green or a white. And the sad thing is, like, I kind of just want the white better because then we'll channel into Elspeth. Whereas if we draw a green, we're going to just... Oh my god. I could not be more upset right now. Um, I could spill this on your head. I think that might make you more upset. Yeah, you're right. That's true. What do you even take here? Doesn't matter. They're just going to play Time Twister after this. They might. channel okay well you definitely have four spike then or they're just hoping we don't draw land i mean we can still play olivia though is the thing so which is very good against mesmeric fiend so maybe they are just hoping we don't draw land so they can force spike olivia all right oh Interesting, because now we can just play Olivia and kill both of those guys. But I guess you have you have Varaska, so it doesn't really matter. Oh boy, 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 boy. Well, that's not terrible, but still need a green or any land. A Bayou would be amazing because it gives us double black ship for shoulder, a triple green for this, and six mana for Elspeth. Bayou one tie tie move. Me make fun? No, man, I I had to scratch my chin. Oh well, Urborg actually makes shoulder easier, even though we're still two mana away. Negative three, kill Olivia. You're never gonna let her live. Yeah, step relation where you take the best card in the pack. That seems good. That's a good one. I am a fan of that, and I have a feeling we've done that before. I feel like we haven't done that in a while as well, so. You got more? Never done, huh? That'll get us right back in the game. Wasn't actually the worst draw. We won round one, right? 
Remember round two where our opponent's like, don't beat me too badly. And then they just like crushed us. Was that round two or round one? That might have been round one, actually. Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to report a murder. <laughs> yes, hello. Is this the, uh, is this the, is this 911? Yes, I'd like to report a murder. Get here as fast as you can. Oh, God. Here you go. <laughs> there just happened to be a murder like right there on the desk. That's pretty hilarious, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to This is what's happening to us right now. Well, you better cast whatever you got. Oh, it's an Orzov thing. I don't care about that. Well, I'm gonna snatch those last two cards. You better just use them or lose them. Why is there no flavor text on murder? I don't know, it's really good. I think it I like that it doesn't have it though. It's kind of elegant. It just says destroy target creature. Murder. It's just such an elegant card. I see. Okay. Well, you know the flavor text should be on it? Tell me. Not as good as Hero's Downfall. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Strictly worse than Hero's Downfall. I see. Two, one, one. Oh, God. Remember that time we passed Verger's Gearhold? Because we were like, nah, man, it's not that. It's I, I think this card is one of the unsung heroes of this format. I will take seven damage, and I will draw a, a, an irrelevant mana mind twist. Mana mind twist. <laughs> Yeah, we're just dead. There's nothing we can do here. Yeah, done. Okay. All right. Unfortunate how that turned out. But we definitely... I think the stipulation was a little bit off. Uh, we probably should have prioritized good cards and had a, uh, a quota, a land quota that we should have taken. So, unfortunate it went down like that. I think our opponents had very good decks. And they drew very well as well. Including mostly, most of them having Glenelg or Archmage for our... Right before the turn, we were going to do something great. Um, but... It is what it is. Still, Vintage Cube is super fun. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time.